trying to display if this is uncomfortable to me. So now I'm going to tighten it until you say it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's okay? More? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Now look all the way down as if you're looking at your feet. Bend your head really low. Look. Uh -huh. Turn it. Yeah, really low. So now, can you grab your hands behind your back? And from now on, don't move your body, only your head. So close your eyes now, mm -hmm. and then only open them when you start to hear some sounds. The situation is, is that you're alone here in a room, we're all going, we're just going to pull the curtain, and you, you may hear something coming from another room. Okay. Okay? Okay. And you're here against your will. Definitely expecting the attention to switch to me at some point, which by itself is very unpleasant. I wasn't expecting physical torture because I know that uh, we're not going to do it, but I was still expecting something unpleasant to happen to me. Definitely. Uh, I thought there was on a, some kind of uh, bizarre scene about like hitting or bumping, punching or. I will be the, the next one in the interrogation room or something. I think it, it was quite realistic. I felt pretty much the environment and the, like the you know, sounds, the perspective, you know, how I was moving. When I looked like yeah, downward, I can see my legs. I just saw it was on top of the box. You see a face, uh, sometimes in front of you, sometimes by your side. And and you say, is that me? Or I'm in a room alone, or and I hear uh, people uh, around, and they don't seem friendly. So the environment was quite uh, realistic. You cannot control things. Uh, that you are helpless. I might have been imitating his posture. Um, I don't know, but I, I I remember feeling uncomfortable. I was, you know, all flexed and in a comfortable position. I felt mostly forward. And, uh, sometime I got tired and I kind of, but, uh, yeah, 
generally mostly uh, forward. Uh, you know you are in some position because you know what are your legs or what are your hands, but at the same time you, you, you see the, the other guy, the guy that is supposed to be you, and you look at, at him and, and say, oh, okay, I'm really flexed and I'm in an uncomfortable position. So you start to believe that you are him. Yes. I during the experience, I kind of reminded like the you know the news when I heard about the Guantanamo prisoners and the, how do they feel? How I really felt like if I were a prisoner in a Iraq or some really warm place, and I was being interrogated. So I really reminded of that, how that situation feels like.